Hey guys, welcome back to World Scenario TV. I'm Joe and I'm here for another Transfer Daily Report where I'll be giving you updates on the latest transfer news and rumors going on at AC Milan. Now let's start off today with Maxess because Tuto Mercato Web is reporting that Trazanspor are interested in signing him. They have offered the player a two-year contract worth 2.5 million euros in salary plus 1 million euro in bonuses. So uh, honestly speaking guys, I think if Milan actually get rid of Maxess, it will be a positive thing for a number of reasons. First of all, his contract is expiring at the end of the month. So even though he will become a free agent and Milan won't benefit really from his um, from a transfer fee coming from uh, any team, you know, they still have to consider the fact that they will be saving a lot on wages. As a matter of fact, Maxess was really the highest income earner for Milan this season earning 4 million euros uh, so you know you really can't give that much on wages to a player that's so inconsistent where he's gonna get a number of good games decent games but then you're gonna get a lot of those games where he's just really poor out of position uh, no discipline as we have seen number of times this season with many suspensions so you just can't afford to give up so many wages on a player of that sort so I think if Milan actually decide not to renew his contract they will make, be making a very smart choice now moving on Abdenor's agent has mentioned that AC Milan are interested in the player the 25 year old Monaco center back has only made 18 appearances this season as he was overwhelmed with many injuries and national team duty now a lot of teams are after the players such as Inter, Liverpool, Barcelona and Juventus and out of all these teams, Juventus is really the only team that have made contact so far with Monaco. Now, of course, not the best of relationships with Milan and Monaco, as we have witnessed what happened with uh, the Condogbia deal a few days ago, but that was also due to the player. But moving on from that, Milan need to move on and look on the defense. Because right now, they've been focusing, I think, way too much on getting midfielders and forwards, even though we haven't officially signed anyone on that sort. They need to address the defense as soon as possible and at all costs. So I think Abdenor will be a good addition if we get him. Uh, and as I said before, if Maxess leaves, maybe he comes in, he could po possibly earn maybe a bit less than what Maxess is earning right now. Uh, so it could be, of course, a very positive move as he's also younger. Uh, he's 25 years old while Maxess is uh, 33, I believe. So Maxess is only getting older. We need some young guns in defense. So this could be a very good move. Uh, for Milan and finally moving on Adrian Rabiot wants to leave PSG his mother actually mentioned today that AC Milan is one of the clubs that are interested in the player however she said that it's too early to talk about the possibility of him moving to Milan now as you may have heard in the past few Mercatos Milan have been consistently linked to the player but they didn't really push for him at all costs now that maybe we have more money at least that's what they say uh, Milan can finally get him in this transfer window. As I said, Rabio is not happy at PSG. Uh, now, the player scored four goals in 21 appearances this season in the league for PSG, and no contacts have been made so far between Milan and PSG. So, we will wait in the next few days to see if anything concrete actually happens between the two clubs for the players but that is it guys for today's edition of transfer daily thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to world scenario tv and i'll be seeing you tomorrow for another transfer daily report this has been Gio signing off and as usual forza milan